Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm very excited to have you here. I'm Dr. Hema, a GP in UK and the founder of CSASmartGroup.com, where CSA proudly stands for Consultation Skills Academy. We help doctors and medical students not only pass their exams with flying colors, but to completely rock their consultation with confidence, get more marks, wow their patients, and at the end of the day, to enjoy doing it. This is based on my very own experience. I gathered over 14 years of working as a doctor in England and India, reading lots of books, attending many courses on communication and consultation skills, and teaching students for the last three years. In my flagship online training program called CSA Smart Success, I teach all my students in detail with simple, easy steps to shine during the consultation with confidence and ease. In today's video, I would like to discuss the correct way to manage a Down's antenatal screening consultation. Let us discuss this with an example. Where a patient has just found out she is pregnant and she is slightly worried as a friend has had a baby with Down syndrome. First, it is better to ask what the patient understands by the term. Before jumping into explaining all about the Down syndrome, it would be ideal to find out a bit more information like whether it is her first pregnancy, is she taking folic acid, is she aware of the practice pregnancy kit. It's also good to establish some background information such as underlying health problems, issues of smoking, alcohol intake and the husband or family's input. We could explain that it is rarely genetic. It is the best practice to offer routine examinations such as blood pressure checking, urine analysis, an abdominal examination to make sure things are normal. I would then explain in layman's term how Down syndrome is caused by having extra genetic code. Sufferers may have learning difficulties ranging from mild to severe but they are not known straight away. Then I would inform her that everyone has routine scans as part of the pregnancy and for Down's testing, it's quite rare for a woman of 30, a 1 in 1000 chance. There are screening tests that can look at risk in more detail. That involves a jelly scan earlier than normal and getting some blood tests done, which gives the doctor a picture of the individual risk. Then it is important to check that she understands each chunk of information, asking if everything is clear so far. Then we could reveal a higher risk is greater than 1 in 150 and if this is the case, there is another test that can look specifically at the fluid around the baby, collect some genetic material and see if there is some of the extra code. It is vital to point out that 1 in 100 who has the test may miscarry. We have to inquire sensitively about how would the patient proceed if the child did have Down syndrome. Would she consider consulting with her husband as to the best option? Questions like these need to be asked. Then I would suggest booking a new appointment with her and her husband for a week's time and tell her to take an information pack from reception. Make sure you cover all these points in your exam. That's all for today. I will see you soon in another training video. Till then, if you have enjoyed this video, click the like button. Share this video with your friends as I know we practice together with our friends all the time. Now, I would like to invite you to sign up for my free video series called Rock Your Consultation. I have created these videos especially to help you to rock your consultation, get more marks, wow your patients and make every examiner admire you. All you need to do is to enter your name and email address below. I will send them straight away. You are an amazing person. Let me help you to rock your consultations with confidence and ease. Let's do it.